Lord Geis, as promised, the water pump. Now, this that's going to be a little bit of a problem with this because obviously I'm down in the basement and I have to heat the product up upstairs, the easy water. So by the time I get it from upstairs to down here, I don't know whether it's going to cool off too much. So I'll give it a go anyway, and if I get down here and it's, it's cooled off too much, I'm going to have to rethink how I do this video. I maybe think I may have to set up something upstairs right next to the cooker. And Anyway, I'll give it a go. So I'll put you on pause, I'll heat it, and see how things go. Be back soon. Well, okay guys, let's have a go. I've heated it up. I hope you can see. I might get in the way with my hands. I'm about to pour it now. Let's pour some through the back as well. So far, it's looking all right. I think what I'm, I should have done, I should have um, thinking about it now. I think I should have put some ink in it or something, or found out whether I could put some ink in it. But as I say, this is a small piece for um, just basically to test run a little bit on the uh, foliage there. But um, it seems it seems to be okay actually. Not as hard as I thought it was going to be, but I just need to get a little bit more down through the back. In fact, you're not going to see the back, so but I'll try and scoop a bit back anyway. My wife kindly gave me the pan. She said, use that old milk pan we've got. Okay, fine, I'm using that. Um, Ooh. Ooh. I think another thing I've done, I think I have balls this up, should we say. I wanted those rocks to be stuck out. It started to settle down and the balls have disappeared in itself. I'm quite impressed with the year product. I'll be back in one moment just trying to find something. I think what I want to try and do is add some stones on top of it and just push it into it. Oh no, it's gone off. Oh, it's gone off pretty quick. Jesus. Wow. Now at this stage, you reckon if you want to get the bubbles out, you actually use some type of heat source. Um, possibly something maybe like um, probably a bolt torch would probably do it fine. But uh, sorry about my hands getting in the way. Oh, there we go, got that out. Um, yeah, it's it's all flat. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think. Yeah, I, I am happy with it, and I think. The first pour, this is the first time I've ever done any water as such, but um, it looks not, it doesn't look too bad actually. Um, what I'll do, I'll take it up to the next step and, and play with it, like putting some more heat on it and help that flatten it down and get some of the bubbles out. But as a product, 
I'm, I'm really, really impressed with it. So that's quite good. Um, there's not more I really can say now other than you see me poured and you just, I heated it up and such. It heats up quite well. It dries pretty quick and, and solid. You can see in the pan. Okay. Now I'm glad I used a non-stick pan because I might be able to get out and reuse it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to try and get a video on each week, at least one a week. Um, the next thing I'm gonna, I want to try and do, I want to try and do a, a build log of the G4 staff car. Also, I want to do a build log on the diorama I've got in mind to do it. I'll tell you a little bit more about it when I actually get the stuff. I'm waiting for the stuff, to, the figures especially to come in. Uh, as soon as those figures have come in, I'll um, make another video about that, but I might make something in between. So, if you like, please subscribe and I'd love to hear some comments and if you like this video thumbs up so thanks many thanks now and I'll see you in the next one bye